Okay, so let's go back to <laughs> flying cars. Let's go back to why anyone would want a flying car in the first place. Because they're an asshole. Okay, so no, here it is. Stuck in traffic. So here it better is. Better than everybody. So let's watch. Let's say there was only one road. Okay. Okay. That was the width of your car. And you're driving on this road, and there are cars behind you. The fastest you could go on that road is the speed of the slowest car on the road. Right. Make sense? Yes. This is travel in one dimension. That sucks. What you really want is travel in two dimensions. So you take the road and widen it. Let's make two lanes. Two lanes in one direction. We can have two the other way as well. That's, that doesn't matter here. Now you have two lanes. So now I can go around you, your slow ass car. Mm. Okay? But, and that's fine. This was a great improvement on one dimensional travel. Now it's two dimensions. Okay? I can shift left or right as well as move forward or backwards to move. And the more lanes you have, the more two-dimensional that is. Okay. The 405 here in Los Angeles, what is it, six lanes each? It's 12 freaking lanes. Okay. You are fully exploiting the two-dimensionality of travel. But you still have so many cars that you say to yourself, I want to bypass this traffic. If you went from one dimensions to two dimensions, bypassing is just another lane. But now all 12 lanes are plugged. And you want to bypass it. So you're thinking, I need to travel in another dimension. I want to travel in the third dimension. If I do that, I can bypass all these cars. I want a flying car. Yeah. Okay. Well, the point is, we already have flying cars. They're called helicopters. Well, the helicopters are originally invented for that. They're called helicopters. <laughs> They're noisy. <laughs> They have to create a downward thrust of air equal to its own weight. If you're going to have a flying car, that's what it's going to have to do. Right. They're noisy. They're, they completely disrupt the terrain wherever they fly. So the issue is not that you want a flying car. You want to travel in that third dimension. Mm. We already do that. How they, do we do that? They're called tunnels. They're called bridges. When you have a huge intersection, you don't move people through one another. You build, the, you build one road over the other. You build one road under the other. You are exploiting three dimensions so mm -hmm. that traffic can go in perpendicular directions simultaneously. That's what the flying cars would have given you. But we do that at intersections. Because it would be impossible to move 12 lanes of traffic through an intersection that crossed another freeway. New York City has done this. We do this. The New York, you're in the streets, there's too many cars, you can't move. Let's move in the third dimension. Let's build a subway. This sounds like a guy who's trying to sell me something I'm telling that's you, better than a flying car. This is what it sounds like. I'm just, You're like, listen, I'm, man, that flying car is bullshit, and physics, I'll tell you why. You could buy a flying car. The new, I want you to appreciate moving in the third dimension. I do appreciate the it. The New York City subway system moves a billion people a year. Mm. And they all go in the third dimension, beneath the ground, mm. through tunnels. Tunnels that are layered on top of one another. Well, the New York City subway it's, system it's is amazing. How no doubt about it. You can it. move that many people. It's great, but it's not as good as a flying car. <laughs> it's not as cool as a flying car, right. but it's as effective as a flying car. No, not for a person I go who past... has a flying car. <laughs> person who has a flying car doesn't have to get in line. You don't have to get on the subway. You don't have to have a token. You don't have to go through the turnstile. You don't have to deal with some guy who's rubbing his body up against yours. You, a flying car is so, the shit. You just fly around. I'm just saying. It's like a boat. Tunnels, but for the air and bridges, are flying cars. 